Welcome back to Baltimore Regionals, guys. We've got some time to kill before the next round, so I'm going to join a face some of you may recognize, Luke Morsa, also known as CDS Network. Luke, how's your day going so far? Um, it's going pretty good. I'm, uh, my record's 2-2-1, two, two, so still in it. Having a great time, though. Um, four more rounds to play, so hopefully I can make those go my way. So it's four more rounds, and I'm hoping four more wins, I would yes, imagine, is the goal. <laughs> the goal. Yeah, hoping for four more rounds full of uh, uh, four more wins, and then I get to play more tomorrow if that happens. So That'll be really good. So obviously, we come in from the World Championships. We go right back into regionals. Not a long break for many of us. What deck did we go with this weekend? How are we feeling about it after uh, the first five? Um, so I played Arceus and Teleon, which is, uh, some people think it's kind of a boring deck, but I like it. It's very thought-provoking, and um, it was a favorite of mine for the last uh, post-pandemic part of the season. Mm -hmm. um, so I hit pretty much what I would expect to hit in my matchups. One Stone Journer, which was definitely wonky. Stole a game one off of it, lost games two and three. Uh, so <laughs> matchup-wise, everything's been mostly what I expected and uh, the deck's performing fine I just 50 50s don't go your side of 50 50 all the time you know <laughs> well there are coin flips obviously I come from a different game we're not we're not used to the coin flip in the same way you guys are but uh, you know did you feel you say that some people call the deck boring and you call it thought-provoking so where do you think the difference is if you were somebody trying to teach somebody Arceus and Teleon what would you say to them it's like this is why the deck is super cool Okay, so the deck is super cool because you have so many different options of what you want to do with your turn mm -hmm. and also planning turns ahead of time, uh, more like chess or more like Pokemon TCG from like three plus years ago. Um, as compared to coming out of a format for the past couple of years where it's a lot of try to do a one shot and if you didn't knock out the Pokemon in one hit, you didn't get your job done. <laughs> um, Arceus and Teleon is much more of a slow grind of healing and disrupting and doing all that kind of stuff. So with that in mind, you're playing a slightly different game. There are a few decks out there still going for the one-hit knockouts. The Palkias are looking for it with Knights of Fall Benches. Is there anything you don't want to play in these next four rounds? I would appreciate not hitting more Stone Journers if there's more than <laughs> one in the event. That would be awesome. And then uh, Ice Rider, Bibberal, uh, Grant Manley did really well with that at Worlds, and a lot of people are taking his list, which they should because it's a good deck. Um, not my best matchup, winnable, but it's what I would prefer not to see on the other side of the table. So a few things to avoid, but none of the big meta picks. You, you think you can all take them all on? Yeah, all of the big meta things are maybe slightly unfavored at worst, and uh, they're manageable. So I like to play decks that have a lot of manageable matchups and that you know I can feel like I played my best and played to my outs. Well, that's always a good thing. We obviously came off the World Championships. We haven't quite rotated the format yet. How do you feel that the World Championships impacted this first regional? I mean, there's regionals all over the world this weekend. Do you think people are looking maybe a little too hard at those results or people just know what's better because of it? Well, in my case, I just stuck with the deck that I was already playing in the Milwaukee and NAIC format. Um, Pokemon Go didn't add too much. So I was just going to stick with my deck. And I think a lot of the field is just sticking with their comfort deck because we rotate as soon as this tournament's over to, or not rotate, but we uh, have a new set put into being legal as soon as this tournament's over. So I think a lot of people stuck with, uh, you know, like we saw Andrew Estrada with Palkia because he had just been playing it. I'm playing Arceus and Teleon again. I think a lot of people are sticking with what they want and taking note of how well Arc Pika did. So maybe teching in a couple of things for that. So you mentioned obviously we're coming up on Peoria, it's only a couple of weeks away. We are getting the new set, Lost Origin. I know you often do a lot of work looking forward and, and trying to figure out those new decks. What are we expecting in the future? What do you think we can look forward to in Peoria? What's your favorite from early testing, pre-releases and all that? Uh, definitely Pokemon some players, sort of Lost uh, lost Daniel Zone Altavilla. engine with the new Comfy, Friends Mirage Gate, Forces Experiment, and Jack some Air. sort of line of the new Giratina V-Star thrown in there. Mm -hmm. So many options, so much fun with all the different energy combinations you get to do with Mirage Gate. Uh, but I really do think a lot of people will stick with Palkia-based decks because they learned them so well over the past four months, whether it's going to be straight Palkia or Palkia with the new Cure and VMAX. Um, I think people are going to go towards that, at least for Peoria, because Peoria metagame is going to be vastly unknown. 
It's, uh, I think Peoria is going to be a bit of a wild one. <laughs> uh, I'm ready to, to buckle in and, and see what we get there. But I'll give you a chance, right? You know, I, I assume you're going to Peoria. I know you attend a lot. What do you think? Like, if, if you could make one Daniel prediction Altavilla, for Peoria. If you get it right, by the Daniel way, you're going to look like an absolute genius. Deck you can <laughs> clip it. You can use it yourself. But outside of that, what do you think is going to be the big takeaway from that event? Just looking forward, get people excited for the rest of the regional season. Oh, man, that's a great question. Um, I think that they will see there's a lot of things they, that people didn't try and didn't test that kind of just came out. But I don't think anything is going to be perfected for Peoria. I think Peoria is going to give us new things that are going to be further innovated down the line with this new Lost Zone engine because there's so much to do with it. Um, so like I said, I think a lot of people played safe with Palkia, Palkia Curum, things like that. Uh, but the new things that people innovate with the Lost Zone, I think it's just going to start a wildfire. I'm excited for it. I'm strapping in. I'm here for a few months before the video game comes back, and you know, we're really going to see uh, what decks come out. Uh, but I know you've got some more games to play. You've got four games. I'm going to let you prepare for those a little bit. We, we did grab you and, and just ask you a ton of questions, so <laughs> go prepare. I hope you avoid the stone journey. Um, but best of luck in the last four matches you've got to play today, and we're going to take a quick break while we get ready for the next round.